This is Carl at National RV Detroit. I'm going to walk you through this 2024 Salem FS, FSX model number 164 RBLE. Okay, so this is not a sales video, it's a how to video. I'm just going to show you some of the features and how they work, okay? So we have regular crank down stabilizer jacks, okay? And you get a three quarter inch crank with it, of course. Uh, you have power awning. So it's all power. Uh, this is a 120 AC receptacle, duplex. Okay. Here we just have some storage. You can see your tire, your spare tire. You can see your dump hose, your your crank, your three quarter inch crank. Uh, this is just a um, this is a hookup for a portable solar kit. It's a kit to charge your battery if it goes low you could basically plug it in if you get the if you get the kit that that this that fits this pre-wire you could just plug it right into here point the kit at the sun and uh, it'll it'll start charging your battery so that's what that plug is for um, you have a deep cycle marine battery a 20 pound LP tank full of course with a uh, regulator and then you have your tongue jack right here breakaway switch okay um, so there's two ways to get water to the trailer the most common is the city water hookup so if you have city water hookup where you're camping you just put the screw the hose on there turn it on and you're all set if you're camping someplace that does not have city water like your boondocking or whatever you can pre-fill your fresh water tank right here and then use the onboard pump to pump the water. I'll show you where the switch is for that when we get inside. But uh, the bottom line is uh, you have two options when it comes to your water. If you have city water, which most of the time you will, you know, unless you purposely go out in the middle of nowhere, then you can use the other option uh, with the fresh water tank and the pump, okay? You have a 30 foot, 30 amp power cord here. You can adapt, an, <clears throat> excuse me, an adapter to adapt it down to a 20 also. Um, that's the vent for your furnace. This is your water heater. <clears throat> it's a gas water heater, works on LP, that's your gas burner. The switch to control it is inside. Uh, this is your drain right here and anode rod. You can see it's, it's a, the, the plug is out right now and the water heater tank is empty. The reason it's empty, it's in, it's in, um, winter mode right now so the, the uh, bypass valves on the back of the water heater are, are uh, in bypass and the uh, water's been purged from the system and replaced with antifreeze so it's all set for the summer all right um, you have uh, your valves here you have your gray tank gray the gray um, tank valve uh, is for um, uh, shower water sink water that sort of thing the black tank is for toilet water and waste so um, you can always even if you have the same color handles you can always tell the black tank valve is always the larger valve you see that one's an inch and a half that one's much larger um, so keep that in mind also uh, these are your low point drains the lowest point of the plumbing this is cable and, and through into to the inside of the trailer so if you got campground cable whatever you can go into the system there um, you have, this is pre, it's got a hookup for a Lippert um, telescoping ladder. The reason you would want that is, is it makes it easy to inspect the roof. The manufacturer states every 60 to 90 days you should inspect the roof. So uh, keep that in mind that you need to go up there. Somebody needs to go up there. Look up there, make sure there's no cracking or separation um, at any of the sealant. Make sure there's no damage caused by to the roofing material or any roofing attachments damage caused by um, uh, low, low branches or road debris or what have you so uh, make sure every 60 to 90 days you inspect that roof uh, it should be part of your regular maintenance so next to it you have a pre-wire hookup for a backup camera that's a Furion backup camera kit we carry them here you can get them elsewhere just make sure you get the right kit if you're interested get the right kit that fits that housing Okay, pre-wire. Alrighty. Here.
people generally don't inspect the roof enough, so you have to make a make sure you uh, you do that on a regular basis, just in case something happens. Odds are nothing will, but you don't know and, unless you look. So your inspection is just basically just looking around to make sure everything's okay. All right, so here we have uh, your um, switch for your power awning. You can see right here. Okay, never leave it out unattended if you're not going to be the campsite. Roll it in. You have your lights here. Okay. Um, your water pump right here. Remember, you use that water pump to pump water out of the fresh water tank if you don't have city water. You also use this pump to winterize the trailer. Your water heater lights that runs on gas, so that's how you light the gas burner. There's the fault light up there. Okay. Um, these are your levels, battery level, tanks, fresh water, black, gray. See, they graduate up in one third acre mints. Once you get past two thirds, you're going to have to start thinking about dumping the tanks, of course. Okay. Um, your TV hooks up here, obviously, and you get this bracket with a uh, thing you can put on the back of a TV. Um, this is the emergency window. It works like so. You push it all the way through, all the way through. Then you would grab hold of this red tab and pull the screen out. And you can get out in an emergency. This is your table for dining or what, what have you. You have some storage underneath the bed. It just it just pulls up. Um, while we're here, well, look at this here. This is your carbon monoxide LP gas detector. It should always be green. If it's not green, get it serviced, okay? Um, there's also a test button right here. You can push the test button if it doesn't work, get it serviced. This is your this is your power converter right here. So this converts AC to DC power. So uh, on this side you've got regular uh, 120 AC circuit breakers like you'd uh, have at home. That's regular shore power. You can see they're they're labeled. And then over here you have um, 12 volt DC fuses. So uh, the AC power that is used. What 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 AC power is needed is used. Some things have to be AC power. Let's like the um, let's say the uh, air conditioner does, and the receptacles have to be. Um, everything else runs on DC power, and this is where it comes from. Also, this is a battery charger, so it'll it'll de it'll sense how much energy your battery needs up front. And it'll send as many apps necessary to charge your battery. When you're pulling down the road, your tow vehicle's alternator will charge the battery. And when you're plugged into shore power, this charges your battery, okay? That's the furnace. This is where you winterize. You remove this drawer, just so you know it's got a, it's got a sticker there that tells you that. Okay. Um, when it comes to the furnace to turn it on, it's very simple. All the way to the left is off. Click it to the right to turn it on. Right, it lights automatically. Just shut it off, you click it to the left, and then just leave it. As soon as you do that, the flame goes out, but it'll run for another minute or two till it uh, runs through its cycle. Uh, when it comes to your two burner cooktop, uh, you're just basically gonna go to high in this case and depress it. See it lit right there. Do the same thing as the other one. See it lit, very simple. Um, shut it off. Uh, always travel with this shut. You don't want to. Uh, you, you don't want it to get damaged. This uh, this receptacle is a GFCI. So all of the all of the all of the, the duplex receptacles in the trailer and the one on the outside they're all wired through this GFCI here. So if you're using something outside or in a different plug and it pops, you reset it here. Of course, here's your, your keys. Okay. Okay. Another emergency window here, it looks like. Yes, yes. The refrigerator is 12 volt DC, so it runs on 12 volts. Okay. Uh, your air conditioner, 
you have two fan speeds and two air conditioning speeds and then of course your your thermostat the um, you have a vent out here and a vent here they both have a fan on it I would like to have the fan switches right here okay uh, the shower works like any other shower the toilet works like like travel trailer toilets do in that it sits right over a black tank um, so the idea is you'll um, you'll come in here you'll first of all you'll, you'll hook up your power and your water then you'll come in here you'll put a dose of chemical right in the bowl then you step on the flush pedal hold it down while you're holding it down water will come swirling around and flush the chemical into the bowl along with the water you want at least a gallon of water or more to go into the into the tank below so um, you don't want to use less than a gallon of water but you can use more uh, and that's a, that's the rule of thumb you, you never run it without water and chemical in it if you if you if you do that then it's gonna it's gonna get clogged up and it's gonna smell really bad and just be a mess so always uh, when you have a, a, a dump tank and let's say you dumped your black tank the next time you gonna camp in it the next time you're gonna use it you have to put a dose of chemical and at least a gallon of water in there okay all right okay and the rest is just storage um, I think we've pretty much covered everything let me look around a bit here yes sir okay okay so I want to thank you for purchasing your trailer here at National RV Detroit please remember what I said about inspecting the the roof every 90 days 60 to 90 days um, that's important uh, don't if you're gonna if you're gonna touch it up ever you use a you use a product called Dicor. All RV places have it. You don't use um, anything from a hardware store. You have to go to the RV place and get the correct stuff. Just explain what you're doing and they'll give you the right stuff. Okay. And also uh, uh, we're we're winterized right now, like I stated. So all the water's been purged from the system. The water heater's in in uh, winter mode right now, and uh, it's all set till spring okay uh, you can ask more questions obviously when you pick it up and we'll go through any questions you have and make sure you're happy and understand all of all the different uh, aspects of the trailer okay thank you